respeta la dama. <laughs> welcome to Shut Your Traps, everybody. This is the. My name is Bob, and welcome to the Blunderbuss special. Uh, we're. Uh, Wow, well, we, well uh, <laughs> shut your mouths! <laughs> and uh, this today, is why he didn't introduce us last time. You know, it's been a little. Uh, yeah, I'm, no. out of, I'm out of a practice. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Trying to keep your trap shut. Anyway, babe. yeah. What's a failure to plan, Bob? It's a failure to plan. It's a plan for failure. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> it's the only time you've done it without fucking it up. Because <laughs> well, y'all would bust it out, and I'd be like, uh, anyway. Uh, today, uh, thank you for listening to the Blunder Bus Special. This is uh, uh, today's episode. We're doing. Uh, Superheroes, I believe, and of course with me is always the illustrious Nate. What's going on? The uh, indomitable James. How's it going? And the ever cantankerous Dave. Superhero movies. Movies? Yeah. Movies? I thought it was just superheroes. Yeah, you just know. Said, no. Superheroes, your favorite it's, superhero shit. No. It's superhero movies. That's why we watch fucking, like, all these movies. Yeah, but I thought I'm just... No, you, no, you no. just said superheroes. That's all you said. James? The, James, we've discussed this before. Yeah. Oh, oh you two might have discussed it. Yeah, but you just said superheroes. But of course, granted, this was a long time ago, so... In a galaxy right, well, far, far away. I yeah. guess we're we're doing superhero movies today. Yeah, superheroes. And uh, there's actually... Uh, the Deadpool just came out, and apparently, and just crushed everybody's ass. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, you know, the, what, The Force Awakens that came out, what, uh, about, a, about a month ago, I believe? Yeah, three December. months ago. Yeah, something like two that. Two months ago. About two months ago. And of course, uh, what's the the next big one after Deadpool? I think. I think what Civil Union. I mean, I'm sorry, Civil Union. Civil Union. Civil Union. Civil... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. That will be a movie somewhere. Yeah, Marvel Civil <laughs> Union. <laughs> Hulk. Where Tony Tony Stark and and Cap like actually like yeah. end up getting married. Yeah, they just they quit fighting and they just fuck. That's what it <laughs> yeah. is. That's Hulk. actually that's the one that comes after the Civil War. Yeah, he's like Hulk, not Hulk, love you. But the Hulk not in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk think you're a nice girl. Hulk call later. It just says superheroes and packs. Oh, Bam! Oh my god! Bag it! Oh. Bag it! You fucking oh man! God, mook! Damn! There's a reason mook. that we watched like all these old things on uh, mud butt. Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. But anyway, superhero movies and superheroes. How about that? Yeah, yeah. superheroes. Yeah. Can we yeah. agree with that? All right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I know we, we'd have. Now that you started. got your way, now you don't know where to take this. Right. Uh, no, like I said, like you know, everybody likes superheroes. Like I said, in the last what decade, uh, superhero movies have actually finally got to the point where it's uh, gotten popular. They actually know the formula pretty well. Of course, granted, mm. they have been a lot of trips of trip ups away. I'd like to say Spider Man. Oh my yeah. god, Green Lantern. <laughs> Green Lantern. I didn't uh, watch it. Well, what we're gonna list all the bad ones? There's way too many. The Fantastic Four franchise, like oh. every single Fantastic Four movie that they've made has been fucking shitty. I, I like the fact that like we want to make it less comic booky, and then all of a sudden it's just a terrible fucking movie. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, no, let's list all the bad ones, and of course, then we could be shit on them for a little bit, and then we'll get to the good ones that we like. Well, the thing is that you know you're saying like over the last ten years they've become popular, but the thing is is that going way back they've been they've been popular before. Yeah, mm-hmm. just not in the same format of like big budget superhero movies. Well, they're able to get away with special effect, better special effects now. Well, yeah, due to technology. Yeah, like if everybody remembers the uh, the original Spider Man movie where they just had the guy just crawling up the wall, or the uh, yeah. or the, the the when they did the Captain America in the seventies. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where he had his own motorcycle. Do you remember that one? No, that was uh, a TV not show, the, not the seventies one, but I remember the nineties one where he fights Red Skull, and it was fucking awful. And I, there was actually they did like one in the nineties. Yeah, there, wow. was, there was a Fantastic Four in the nineties, and then there was a Captain America in the nineties, and they were like god awful. Oh no, the yeah, the Fantastic Four one they. They just scrapped the shit out of it. I remember seeing pictures, and the thing looked like a big foam Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> but the the Captain America one, there's like a, I want to say it's like 1990s year in review. It's a Marvel magazine that they mm-hmm. released. Yeah. And Marvel tore apart Captain America of like how horrible and shitty like the movie was. It's like and that's their regret. own. And that's their own, you know, like that's, you know, even though they did not produce it, but they were very critical of that movie. Oh, yeah. But James James has some history to drop on us about like all these like superheroes and the origins and yeah. I mean the, <laughs> but, you know and, and and it's funny that you talk about the superhero movies and like the whole superhero has been around for a long time now just limiting it to the movies you know in my little homework assignment I was ta- I I watched like two movies based on essentially the archetypes of Batman and Superman 
you know, the Shadow and Doc Savage. <laughs> and, and, and you know, you look at them and you look at the history. It's like they're exactly what Batman and Superman became. You know, Doc Savage came first. He's like this, you know, international man. He goes out. He's a scientist. He has, you know, he was the one that had the original Fortress of Solitude. I mean, it's in, it's in the books there. Yeah. And that's, you know, I thought that was hilarious. Now, I watched that movie, the Doc Savage one, and it was sort of like, I, I ne- I've never read any of the pulp serials that the character was based on, but I was watching this movie, and I was just sort of like, my God, can, can this guy be more Captain America than Captain America? <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's, he's like so corny, goody two-shoes, you know, very straight-laced, <laughs> you know. Okay, was it, would you like a drink? Yes, would you like a drink? <laughs> I'll have some milk. Something stronger? A Coke. <laughs> <laughs> but he says it all cool. Like He says it all cool like a Coke. Coke. <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. You know, <laughs> he didn't pull some bullshit like that. Or like, would you like a slice of lemon and a Cuba Libre? You know, just like, well, oh, that's too exotic for me. No, thank you. I just <laughs> want it neat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coke neat, just warm Coke you know, in the glass. Yeah. So I, I recommend it to anyone who's, who's uh, listening in. Just do, do like Doc Savage movie trailer on YouTube and, and yeah. enjoy. I mean, that movie right there is just—it is so B movie pure that you'll just you'll you'll want to watch the whole thing. Oh, it, it was it, a great trailer. It yeah, was it was, it was, it was like, pretty awesome. Trailer. It's like holy shit, this looks like the tits. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. there's certain trailers. Like I have this rule: if you watch a trailer and they can tell you the the plot of the movie in 30 seconds, don't watch that movie. That's a terrible fucking movie. Mm. But the Doc trailer, you're just like the Doc Savage. You're just man. I want more. <laughs> I want all of it. I want more. <laughs> like there, there's 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 it's it's like pure just ecstasy. Just going you know, to just do rails of it and just <laughs> go to superhero Valhalla. That's a very interesting way of wording that there, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just want to just do rails of Doc Savage off a <laughs> Filipino Thai hooker's ass. <laughs> That's how good he is. Oh, wow, that's a uh, very extremely <laughs> discreet. You want to <laughs> take Doc Savage and put him in a spoon? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to so, cook him up and and shoot him into my arm and inject him in my balls. Well, what about <laughs> like the what about the tongues. shadow, James? Well, now the shadow is 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 you know again <laughs> the very archetype of of uh, you know of of Batman. Now the the movie that I watched was uh, the Alec Baldwin. With Alec Baldwin. So. Oh, that one. Really? Yeah. Oh, really, but, but, the shadow? but you could have gone to, you know, you could have gone back to, like, you know, the old days, because, like, look well, at... I, I never saw any of those. I mean, the only ones that I'm familiar with in terms of, like, the shadow were the radio shows. Yeah, drama. the radio shows, yeah. The radio shows, which I've listened to, and I thought, these are, these are pretty... I, I can understand why, you know, I mean, let's face it, you didn't have television, or television was still very, you know, expensive, even at that yeah. time, and it's just sort of like you sit there, and you're just listening to them tell you a story... And they have the sound effects, and they have this cool story, and you your know, imagination goes your, wild. Your imagination goes wild. It's, it's 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 no wonder that you just like, oh, motherfucker! I better get my shadow decoder ring. Yeah, yeah. I need to know what the fuck is going Drink on. Drink more over tea, you <laughs> bastards, <laughs> oh. motherfucker! So it's a fucking commercial. <laughs> so apparently, the first film for what it was in those days, nineteen forties, The Shadow. Which is a 15 chapter black and white serial based upon the Shadow Classic Radio yeah. series and pulp yeah. magazine character. Because I'd look huh. on, I'd, I'd, I didn't see anything. That, I mean, it, it may have gotten lost in the, uh, like on a YouTube search for, mm-hmm. you know, what, because everything, like they have just about everything from the radio dramas is listed on, on YouTube. Yeah, you so were it, talking about that earlier. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, it, they, they may have actually had those, radio, those, those actual movie serials out there. I just, I did not see them. Well, they had the one for Captain Marvel, because that's the one that I actually ended up watching mm. a few episodes of. And, and like, and I kind of started there, because when you look at, like, Wikipedia, actually, like, simple enough, superhero movies, and you go to Wikipedia, and it actually has, like, a list of all these, like, going back to 1920s with Zorro. And really, when I looked at all the like the list of like, okay, what you know, you watch those things, and I watched a few others myself. Like, I kind of looked at it from the standpoint of like what today is considered a, a superhero, because I wouldn't consider Zorro a superhero, you know. And like, and and thinking mm-hmm. of like relevant like superheroes that are still around today, because they go, you know, like they have you know a lot of the yeah, but... Zorro ones, then they have like the Spider Man's web, which I couldn't find, mm. or the Spider's web. Which I don't know if it was actually Spider. No, it definitely wasn't. Actually, that's way too old. So there was just a bunch of things that that were there that wouldn't fit what, like a current co- comic. Well, it, yeah, it's but... like you said with Zorro. It's kind of one of those things like what constitutes a superhero? Superpowers? 
Batman doesn't have superpowers. He's just rich with gadgets, you know. And it, but he's a detective. Yeah, but basically. all those. Yeah, but all those but things. But that is, beats ass. You you can, you know, you can reinvent them. You know, you can always reinvent these 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 heroes for like modern taste. So you can reinvent Zorro for modern. You can reinvent the damn the Lone Ranger. For modern you taste. can, but some of that stuff it just doesn't work, man. Well, it, I mean, that's true. Well, no, I mean they did the Zorro with Antonio Banderas. That back was I, I in the nineties. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. they didn't do it as a modern like, as a modern like, no, like, no. like today. It was, like it, was, you know, current, some, current. some things work. Like you know, I, I would consider Sherlock Sherlock Holmes to be like one of the original because let's face it, his his, his arch nemesis Moriarty is again the epitome of a supervillain. Yeah, mm-hmm. so Sherlock can be considered a superhero. He's an intellect. And, you know, they successfully reimagined him for the 21st century. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, granted, it's, it's off topic of the superhero, but like the Three Stooges movie, it doesn't translate. Yeah. The, the, the Marx Brothers doesn't, tra- it's, it's not dated, but it's very uh, time specific. It's a know. period. A period it, or, or period, yes, period piece. So, I mean, some stuff just doesn't translate. And unfortunately, they'll sit there and they'll take some of that older stuff and it's really good. And then it uh, they just ruin it trying to update it, but they're trying to trying to get people now to relate to it. But it's they they should redo it in the period that that they did you know some of those older movies. Yeah, because I think they did the the Three Stooges movie, and it was like modern. And it, it was the jokes don't work. The, yeah, they don't because the lingo, what they say, the what they do, it just just doesn't work. It's not that uh, uh, you know post war or World War One, War Time, World War Two. It's just that you know. Just doesn't work, you know. Like like the like the shadow. I don't know. I mean, you know, I you know, I grew up. You know, my mom. You know, tell me about the shadow. She went, the shadow knows. You know, she still says it. Yeah, I say it, and you know, it's kind of one of those things. You know, I, I'm not too sure that that it would translate well, making it you know take place in the 2000s. Uh, I mean, it totally would because I mean, like depending on whatever iterate because like 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 any good comic book or any superhero, there's like different forms of it. So like in the radio. And the movies, mm-hmm. he's his he is basically supernatural in that he can cloud people's minds. He's like he's telepathic mm-hmm. or he's telekinetic, and he can he makes himself invisible by making you not see him. Hmm. And he can do that for just a whole group of people. And like Batman, he strikes from the shadows, and he's you know he wears his cloak, and he's got like you know in, in the true pulp faction, he has like two you know silver pearl handled forty fives, but he doesn't kill unless he like, hmm. you know well in, in, in the back thing he he doesn't kill unless he absolutely has to. And even then, it's like usually the people that die die because they just don't surrender. You know, they keep, mm. they keep trying to one up, and they they fall to their own the, to the, the their own plot kind of thing. Um, but like you know, you look at the shadow and like how he's described. You know, if, if I didn't tell you I was talking about the shadow, you'd think I was talking about Batman. It's like, oh, here you know, this person is mm. is trained to the peak of well, physical conditioning. <laughs> you know, you know, trained to the peak of physical conditioning. A yeah. uh, master of disguise, stealth. Uh, Playboy millionaire. Playboy millionaire. Mm-hmm. I said the same thing. You know, he you know he's you know, you know a, a master detective, things like that. You know, criminal expert, and you know you, you could go down the list and it would just be like, oh, you're talking about Batman. No, I'm talking about the Shadow. Mm-hmm. You know, <clears throat> genius level intellect, just like Batman. Well, it's like what was it? The Phantom, uh, the guy that wore the, wore the purple suit with the mask. Yeah. Uh, I remember in the '90s they did a because uh, I've seen some of the old stuff and uh, uh, I remember in the '90s they did a uh, like. Uh, you know, I remember because they, they were doing they were doing like the Phantom Two Thousand or Twenty Forty Six. Was like Billy? Was it Billy Zane? Yeah, no, he did uh, the movie. Yeah, yeah. And then I remember the cartoon. The cartoon. Yeah. It was like way in the future, and it was just weird. I don't know. It just it, it just seemed really weird to me. It's like, eh, you know. Well, but going back, so you know, like the whole like what you know, like the superheroes. Like, so when I chose, I just chose the ones that are relevant today, mm-hmm. like the things that are still around. You know, so like for comparison, kind of you know, yeah, like you take what you they're know, doing then and now. Yeah. So, for example, like the Captain Marvel one from the '40s. Like when I watched that, you know, uh, I mean, Captain Marvel is still around, still part of the DC universe. I mean, he's still you know somewhat still relevant. They had yeah. you know one of the animated movies in the last ten years that you know they had about him. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's interesting, just like that take, because you know, like 
the character obviously has changed since then because like there's a scene where he's just like gunning down people <laughs> and like you know billy bats is supposed to be like a 12 year old who gains the power of the powerful sorcerer shazam yeah and so one of the things that makes him like a very interesting character is the fact that like he's superman but with the innocence of a 12 year old yeah and although like superman's like i'm not gonna kill and all mm-hmm. this stuff like you know uh there's you know billy bats you know like as you know uh captain marvel and he's getting a hard on when he sees like power girl walk by and then it's just like no like i can't lie lying is wrong i would never lie no matter what like my mom and dad taught me that <laughs> you know it's a very different you know like the, the way that they've cr- created him today and, and yeah. for a very long time he's been like that but when you look at him in like the 40s he's fucking gunning down like you know like some <laughs> egyptian guys that are trying to like grave rob the the thing that they're actually kind of grave robbing themselves you know like <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting way it, was of very, it. <laughs> it was very american of them <laughs> <laughs> well it's kind of like um the old superman show the old black and white superman shows i always liked it i mean granted of course it was a little cheesy hokey you know because of the you know the time that they were filming they wanted to get away for so much and you know he jumps out the window you know to go fly away but uh i liked i liked it for the fact that the guy and granted, you know, he wasn't, like, like ripped, you know. He was just a big guy, but he he filled the boots, you know. He he filled the cape, you know, with his size. You know, he had that, that kind of, like, uh, deeper voice, you know, kind of commanding in a way, you know. But now it's like, you know. Now, granted, I love this the uh, the Christopher Reeve Supermans and stuff like that. Uh, the new one was okay. Um the only thing is they kind of scrawnied him out, you know, and it's like, now granted Superman is supposed to be kind of like a regular which, guy from another planet. Superman? Are you talking about Superman Returns or are you talking the, the latest Superman? I think he's talking about the latest the, Superman. The Man of Steel. Yeah, the Man of Steel one. The se- Zack Snyder. Yeah, the... Are you, are you talking about that one? The, the Zack... Because Zack dude was pretty big. I don't know. That dude was pretty... Nah, not really. It's, it's... Cavill, right? Isn't mm-hmm. it like James Cavill yeah, well, or something okay, like that? Okay, because Henry... like when they protect, you know, when they portray Superman in like the, the comics... And then when they did it in the, in the cartoons, you know, big barrel chested, you know, he was a big, you know, he was a big motherfucker, man. Well, but again, it goes to like which iteration, you know, like. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. You know, because when you go like, let's say Batman, right? Mm-hmm. Like Batman has been like, you know, he's pretty strong and things yeah. like that. But you look at like, like the 1960s mm-hmm. and even like David West playing, like, that's pretty much what he looked like, you know, mm-hmm. like, I mean, our Adam West, you know, like. He, Normal like, guy. S- like, in the 60s, he wasn't drawn as, like, huge, muscular. Yeah. Like, that started to come in about, like, in the 70s is yeah. really when they really started just, like, having everybody just ripped to shit. Well, I'd yeah. say more 80s, you know, kind of like, you know. Cause well, no, not 80s, 80s, 90s, because, yeah. you know, like, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe Extreme, and it's, like, super roided out. It's like, yeah. what the fuck is this? <laughs> but I remember as a kid, I had a, a, a Superman toy and a, and a Batman toy. And they, they kind of look like regular dudes, you know. They, they gave them just, like, a little bit of definition, but not much, you know. But I remember watching a thing um, about Star Wars and, uh, you know, like, the original toys, you know, of... Um, uh, God damn it. Uh, Luke well, Skywalker. Yeah, Luke Skywalker. Uh, Mark Hamill. And he's, like, sitting there, he's like, yeah, check this out. It's like, yeah, they, you know, this is me, you know. They, you know, th- this is actually a pretty good license to me. Now look how they do them. Holy shit, man, I got huge. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it's just, yeah, like Luke you said, Scott it just depends like, on the time. Excuse me, ma'am. Is that guy bothering you? <laughs> I'm going to crush his eggs between my thighs like a sparrow's egg. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the thing is, is that some of it, you know, like, and especially with the casting makes it difficult because Wolverine's supposed to be like 5'4", mm-hmm. like 300 pounds. And yeah. and I and I actually three hundred pounds really yeah, yeah. mostly adamantium because, yeah oh, mostly is ad, adamantium right, yeah. but he's like, still like a big dude. fucking strong well, guy he's a, he's a stocky guy you know well and, and a five four right yeah. and there was like actually, actually a bodybuilder who was and I I was trying to find it right now but I couldn't but there's like a bodybuilder who had that body frame like it was you know like and now? it's just like yeah like hmm. well no I mean he was uh, a it was uh, an older bodybuilder yeah. oh from the set well because I remember seeing on pumping iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger. There was like a dude over in Italy, and that dude would like literally pick up and move cars and stuff, and he would do it just to fuck with people on the street. And he was a short dude, but he was big, and it's you know, 
For what you're saying, yeah, he would have fit it. He would have fit that, you know. But that's the thing. I mean, I'd like, like of course he would have that's been Italian. one. In, that's one in what two million that maybe have that like body yeah. type that could actually truly yeah. you know resemble. And of course, it would have been Italian Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the spit the <leather. laughs> Because if there's nothing Brigo. great, <laughs> Brigo, you know. <laughs> if there's nothing better than Spider-Man, it is. Italian, Italian Spider- Spider-Man. <laughs> YouTube it. <laughs> I really wish that we had like the the techno- the technological savvy of being able to insert like those clips into our podcast since we <laughs> do create this into a video format. Well, uh, but right, yeah, so you don't want to get in trouble. Well, with if that. we, put, you, you if can we just it. put it straight from YouTube, it wouldn't fucking matter anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, I mean the you know so with you know Jim Cav- Cavill or whatever the fuck the guy's name is. I mean, the fact that he's not super fucking huge and ripped, I mean, it's like, who are you going to get that's a, like, good actor that can actually play the part and then looks like that? Because then you end up with, like, you know, somebody like, I don't know, Ben Affleck playing fucking Batman. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. (laughs) Go ahead, say it, Bob. (laughs) Say it. God, God damn it. Now I'm gonna be laughing. <laughs> you Joker, you wicked queen. <laughs> that better be in the movie. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, oh, man, if man. that's in the movie, then I'm okay with Zack Snyder oh, man, making then, that shitty movie. And then we'd movie. have uh, Matt Damon as a Joker. Holy shit, that'd be awesome. You know? <laughs> oh, dude, it, it would have to be a fucking B movie, man. Just, just to even and be then they're palatable. Just going, Full Southie. I want to <laughs> see that shit. That'd be awesome. I really hope that like Saturday Night Live like makes that happen. Yeah. You know, like oh, we, oh, we, oh, they'll bust its balls, man. And then we get, uh, oh man, Johnny Depp when he played uh, uh, Whitey Bugler uh, for uh, yeah, White, yeah, yeah. And he could do like the the Riddler. <laughs> oh man, man, that's that's or. Uh, ben, uh, Benedict Cumberpatch. Yeah, you would actually make a pretty good uh, Riddler. Actually, who the, the fuck South is that? Movie. The Sherlock. Yeah, the new Sherlock. The new Sherlock. Oh, oh, okay. but he's yeah, Doctor yeah. Strange he's, now. He's Doctor Strange. Yeah. He, that that one's coming out. That's gonna be awesome. I always mm. like Doctor Strange. That's good. Granted, I have to say. I did you watch it. the 1974 Doctor Strange movie on YouTube? No, I did not. We honestly, we probably should. I could probably... It was terrible. <laughs> it was just. It, it was as bad as you would imagine. <laughs> Didn't he have like a pencil thin like seventies mustache? I can imagine. No, that. he had a robust. Oh, robust porn. A ro- porn style. A robust. Yeah, a robust seventies porn style. Oh, he didn't go for the uh, the painted uh, uh, Joker stash from the old <laughs> the old TV show. He had the tickle your Elmo Ooh. stash. Ooh, holy shit! Oh man, the ladies must love him, man. <laughs> Doesn't even charge twenty five cents for mustache rides. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh imagine he's like slowly buttoning his, his purple crushed velvet shirt <laughs> welcome to my center uh was it uh sanctum of solitude your, yes sanctum, or sanctum Sator- 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 yeah something like that <laughs> let me show you my eye of agamodo oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well it's like you know like like throwback uh like we were talking last night about a uh, black dynamite you know <laughs> and it, you know it, in a way he's a superhero. He's just super badass. There was Kung Fu, of course, because he's from the 70s and shit. Everybody knew Kung Fu, you know? <laughs> Gets all the ladies. Doesn't take shit off of nobody. It's especially like a, the man. It's like a mashing of Iron Fist and Luke Cage. <laughs> they become one. Like exactly. They have a ring, and it like fuses them together, and they become Black Dynamite. <laughs> my, my mama says my daddy's name is Black Dynamite. Shut up, little girl. My... That's Cat's name, Black Dynamite. <laughs> you know, but instead... Instead of fighting, like, you know, you know, I, I guess you could say, like, uh, uh, super villains and shit like that, he fights Tricky Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and whoops his, ass, whoops, whoops his ass and takes his woman. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I, lo- I love the way how they film the movie. Because, oh, apparently the, uh, what, what's the guy's name uh, uh, that plays Black Dynamite? Michael Jai White. Yeah. yeah. Apparently he wrote and produced it. I was like, that motherfucker, that's awesome. That was a good movie, yeah. But, uh. Yeah, I, I like the way how they did it. You know, it's like the boom mic just kind of drifts into the scene, and he just and it hits him in the throat, and you hear it, and they just kind of like looks up, you know, trying to get back to seat. You know, just just that little stuff like that. You know, like like they really. It, it seems like they filmed it back in the seventies, which is great. And he looked with me with the little Chinese eyes, going, "Why black guy? Why?" <laughs> and then, uh, uh, and then on Cartoon uh, Network, they or Adult Swim or whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, they they had they had the, the animated show. And everybody that was in the movie plays 
plays the the voice acting parts. Yeah, you know, it, it's funny as shit. You know, like uh, now, of course, it, he didn't play the voice of him, but they actually had had one with like Mr. T, and he was lost in Vietnam, and uh, like dynamite. You know, uh, the CIA comes and fucking finds him and to send him back over there to go find him and shit, and uh, he's over there with like the Cambodians or some shit like that, and they're cannibals. And uh, he makes uh, uh, his own barbecue sauce and, like, boils people in it shit. And they're just like, oh, my God, that's the best fucking barbecue sauce I've ever had, man. I wouldn't mind eating myself. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> black dynamite. Mmm, mmm. I can't go back to the real world. Mmm, mmm. I can make my barbecue sauce and eat people. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, holy shit. It's fucking great. It's fucking great. So, you know, he fights the king. You know, fucking Elvis and shit, you know. <laughs> I'll have to wait it, for them to put it on Netflix. It, you know, it's just that they parody everything. They they even parody uh, 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 King Kong and shit on there. It, it's great. It, it's a great show. Yeah, you have to check it out, man. <laughs> of course, they can really go crazy with it because it's animated. But, uh, of course, like, Tricky Dick's in there all. <laughs> that black dynamite. That, that black you lie. You know, all the shit that they say. It's like, where the fuck are they coming up with it? Did people really say this shit back then? It sounds ridiculous. But, no, it was great. You know, it's like, I consider him a superhero. He's just badass, you know. <laughs> but he has no superhero powers, you know. Well, but the powers alone do not make the superhero. This is true, but I mean, I, I guess a lot of people oh, consider that be terrible. If you actually had superpowers, but you're still a regular guy, like that's yeah, that, that, that guy has, has lack of ambition. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's that, that's funny because you know, you, know you, you go through and you always look at these descriptions, and it's just sort of like every single superhero. It seems they always have to be like they're a genius level intellect. And I was like, I always was like, really, where, where's the average Joe? Like, he has superpowers, but he's just like, I'm really not that smart, you know? I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> where's that Where's that Down Syndrome superhero? No, no not that no, bad, no, no, dude. No, no, no. Come on. We're just talking about uh, the... P- PC police. Come yeah. get him. Why you gotta be a cunt bag like that? Yeah. Yeah. You know what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the power of his heart. Thank you very much for this. <laughs> but, you know, just they're like... all laughing. They, they all found it funny, <laughs> despite what they're saying right now. <laughs> no, we're we're trying to laugh the hurt away. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Dave. Just fuck. What the fuck, James? We <laughs> laughed the hurt away. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but I'm laughing my balls off. It's fucking great. <laughs> Fucking shit! I have to remember that one, (laughs) which means I'll probably forget it. (laughs) Oh, oh, that's so hard to make me sweat. (laughs) I can see the spikes of laughter on the monitor. Oh, I know. Uh, It it was it was funny that you like you like you know like like Superman. there, There was actually someone wrote a novel. And he, and he and he set he set the, he set Superman back, like he was doing a re, re, retelling of the story, and he set Superman back like in his original like in, in the forties and you know, thirty forties, and like he, him growing up in Smallville and mm-hmm. doing all this stuff. And the thing is, he really it, it's like it's like following like Superman like Clark Kent growing up, learning that he's different, but still being kind of like just like. I really don't know what I'm doing. Humble. Yeah, humble. It, like, just, just a guy trying to make his way in life. And, like, mm-hmm. he, he, it follows him to uh, Clark Kent to Hollywood because he's like, well, I'm really tough. Um, I don't get hurt that easy. And so, he, he, like, Superman as or Clark Kent as a stuntman. You know, he's doing all these stunts and all this other stuff. And, like, in, you know, eventually as his powers grow, he, he's, like, in the middle of, a, like, being a stuntman for a, a science fiction movie. And that's where he gets the costume or the idea for the costume. Mm. But... He is not like Clark Kent, um, as we know him. As we know today. him, he, no, he's Clark Kent, like what you'd expect—a guy, a, a nice guy from a small town in Kansas. And so when he starts fighting crime, he, you know, he's like Boy Scout, and and he's just sort of like, whoa, whoa, what happens if you, you know, and, and the reporters are, you know, mobbing Superman, and he, and and one guy says, well, what are you going to do if 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 uh, these people don't do as you say, if they don't stop like their gambling or like the the mafia? And the Superman's like, well, I'll, I'll hit them. Kind of like, oh, I'll beat him up. Yeah. And it's a, it's a very honest, but it's a kind of a not dumb, you know, it's, it's like a, you know, a jock with the heart of gold answer. Yeah. <laughs> and it's sort of like, well, 
you know, how come you don't see superheroes like that who are just like, oh, I'm not really that smart, you know? I'm, <laughs> I'm, he's not a bad person, but he's just yeah. like, he doesn't know how to deal with these things in a way that sort of, you know, it, you know, in a nutshell, no matter how smart they are, they still go on up beating the shit out of people. I mean, Bruce Wayne doesn't sit and talk his talk his feelings out with these people. <laughs> he's just... Joker, you know, sometimes when you do that, you really hurt my feelings. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you know why uh, you do this. This is it's like it's, this is counterproductive. It's like quit making fun of me, man. It's like you know, it's sometimes I, it's not that funny. Yeah, it's, it's it hurts. <laughs> you know what? With all this technology and all this weaponry yeah. and all the armor, you know, what doesn't protect. My feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well, going, going back to like the regular Joe with superpowers, there was that TV show, um, American Hero. No heroics. Oh yeah, no heroics. Mm. Where basically the premise is like four, you know, superpowered individuals who aren't very good at being superheroes. Like one is that the British one? Yes. Yeah, yeah I saw the British one. Yeah, mm. with the hotness, you know, like yeah. where he can just heat things up. You know, like, uh, the one chick that she's super strong, so she actually could do something, but she doesn't. Uh, one who could, she could talk to technology, but she's not very good at it. And then there's the other guy, and, uh, he could see, what, 30 seconds into like the future? Like a minute into the future. Yeah. And, I mean... But, but of all of them, he's the most badass. <laughs> Well, because he is the most apathetic. Like, he is the most disconnected. Like, he's like, I just really don't give a shit. You know, like, he just wants he just wants alcohol and booty. Like, that's all he cares about. Well, that was the Spanish one, right? Like, that was the... Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Middle, I think he's Middle Eastern. Yeah. But, yeah, like, anyway, so, you know, like, that they've, they've done the topic of, like... Well, well the, you but, but you're, the, you're, the, you're talking about, like, the American hero or the great, like... Great American great hero. American, yeah. American hero. hero. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I was going to bring it up because, actually, we've been meaning to talk about, have a show about this, Misfits. Oh god! Oh yeah, yeah. we like oh, course, yeah. Me and it, we've we've actually I've actually seen the I've actually seen the the series like three or four times already because the it's full not a show yeah yeah the, all, oh it's the, good the entire it's, series it's, like, it's three or four times. Good. James, did you see it? Like we were told you were you were supposed to do it. I I, I I've did, seen it. I just haven't finished it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. It's yeah. Because yeah, it's shame. funny. Because it's like you know there's just regular jerk offs, you know, doing community service and shit. Because I got in trouble. And they end up with superpowers, and you know it's like they're trying to figure out what the fuck to do with it. And my first thing would be like, dude, I'm gonna go off in a field where there's nobody, and I'm gonna learn how to use this shit effectively. No, they're doing this shit. No, they, they just no. wander around and just shit happens. Just, just, just get party and drunk. Like the like one guy who's um, uh, Curtis, where he's actually travels through time and space mm. and he has no way to use that really and mm-hmm. of course like i don't know how to use well practice motherfucker no like, remember shit. every time that curtis uses his power he pretty much fucks shit up because the first time that they like introduce his story about like him using his powers is where like he kind of goes back to the night where he got busted for cocaine and that that's the night that he changes but by changing that the girl that he's with ends up in a worse situation mm. And so, like, he ends up just accepting his fate that, like, shit's just fucked. And, no, like, no. Very seldomly has he gone back in time and changed something correctly because a lot of times he just fucks it up. No, I mean, the last time he went back and he made it where... Uh, oh, yeah, the... Uh, he didn't get caught and everybody was fine. Of course, he wasn't there to stop every from getting killed the, that initial day. So he decides to stop that. And then he goes back and... Yeah, the, uh, uh, the probation worker. When he goes berserk and he and he like ends up killing almost everybody because he's nuts, he goes back and then he's able to stop him in the first scene. But like the first time that they really explore him, like yeah. like realize because he didn't know like that that flash happens before he actually realizes that he has mm. a superpower. So like two or three episodes into the series is when they actually like he goes back like to remember, change. Yeah, remember he goes back and he, he stops his girlfriend from. From getting the drugs, but of course, then he goes forward in time, and he, since he wasn't, he didn't get in trouble. He wasn't there to stop for Kelly from opening the door. Uh, not Kelly, uh, yeah. Nathan from opening the door, and the the, the probation warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, Nathan's the only one who survived. I don't want to ruin it to why he survived. Well, but. but that's just it. It's like you know, even you know, being able to fine tune it better. You know, it's like you know, you buy a coke, you know, go back just before you buy the coke. And buy a, you know, seven up, you know, or something, you know, it's like, you know, nobody trains in their fucking powers and shit. Yeah, he went back and he, he did shit like that, but it's not like he was really 
effectively controlling it. Like he could yeah. have been better. See, James yeah. and I are already realizing you would just fuck up the timeline, Nate. You would just <laughs> fuck shit up. Of course, oh, dude. Oh, I, I, I'd have so much money, man. It's like holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, all, you you, that... all you'd have to do is just, is is just do it once. Actually, maybe twice to set yourself up. You don't think I wouldn't have Nazi gold? Holy shit. I'd have Nazi gold just be like, check this shit out. <laughs> like, not even Nazi gold, just the regular, like, lottery. Yeah, no yeah. shit. I mean, then right, come on. Then after that, uh, you give people lottery t- money tickets, like random people. Mm-hmm. Take half the money, or at least a percentage, yeah. 15, 20 percent. No, you, you you do the Back to the Future deal. You just get that big book of bets. <laughs> yeah, you know, and just like, and that's it. And even then, it's just sort of like, oh, I want a little money now. I'm going to invest it in these companies that I know are going to take off. Come back, multi billionaire, done. Never. Well, to... yeah. <laughs> well, which is retarded because it's like you know Marty was told, hey, stick with the DeLorean. No, he goes and fucking checks out the old principal that's crazy with a shotgun. You know, hobo with a shotgun and shit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and then the DeLorean stone. It's like you fucking asshole. It's like that is a huge responsibility. And you just Meh. you didn't remember the first fucking movie, you fucking knob. <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, Hobo with a Shotgun, there's no. We watched that one. Remember? Yeah, yeah we a, watched that. Yeah. No Hobo with Shotgun, Turbo Kid. Remember? No. Oh, yeah. Have yeah you, that was, that tur- was an interesting. Interesting you, one. Okay. Did you ever see Hobo with a Shotgun? Mm, I Hobo with a Shotgun. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about that. One the same ago. kind of genre. It's Turbo Kid, basically post-apocalyptic world. But they filmed it almost like it, like they filmed it in the eighties. Yeah, so everything's all synthesized. Like, no, 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 no. It's kind of little cheesy and shit. So, like, Kung Fury? Yeah, well. No, no, I wouldn't say. more. No, because that was, like, holy shit. Yeah, that was, like, super 80s out, but. This is more like if they actually shot it in the 80s. Yeah. And, of course, post-apocalyptic world. And then he meets this girl who's kind of weird. Turns out there's Michael Ironside in it, and he's, like, the overseer, I guess you'd say. Kind of like a warlord, you know. Yeah. And uh, of course, he's what he does. He's take he takes people and he puts them in a pit and he makes them fight. And whoever dies goes into the juicilator. And he basically... because like non poisonous or radiated water is a hard thing to go by. So basically, they put them in the juicilator to take all the water out of their body. And then they sell it. Well, yeah. they drink it. and They sell it. Yeah, and that's how they control the areas with the juicilated water. <laughs> and uh, and it's it's just. It's a crazy fucking because everybody don't nobody has weapons. Yeah. Actually, the only the way people have to move around is on bicycles. So everyone's a huff, <laughs> who's your on huffies, healthiest and, planet ever. And then of course, well, not really because the person next to they got a machete and they're just like chopping people up and which yeah. would just make you ride faster. Yeah, Bob. yeah, but the only thing is you're scavenging for food and water, so you really kind of have to conserve. <laughs> Hank Azaria's in it, and he's uh, that, was, that was a crazy. Well, the the chick that in, that's in it is the the girl from American Pie. That's dating the 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 dude that plays lacrosse the the jock guy that, that oh gets Mia, Sur- Mia Mina Servari the chick with the forehead and she's got yeah. like the weird like teeth like she's gonna that's, just like that's, eat you yeah Mina Servari yeah she's kind of yeah. creepy I don't know that's just yeah me. I don't Was know I, yeah yeah she played the robot chick did she yeah huh let's talk about bad casting <laughs> how about the terrible casting for the new X Men movie. Mm-hmm. You know, pretty much all the X Men movies were kind of disappointing. Which, uh, personally. which San- Sansa Stark being Jean Grey? What? Hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah that's that's who's going to play Jean. Grey. I don't know. I don't know. I Professor they, X is the only one they, they ever got get right. The uh, I guess not the original actress. Are they doing it like a cast from? Fu- is this supposed to take her like after Future Past? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. This is one that's supposed to take back uh, take place what back in the sixties or seventies or something I, like I don't that. Know, right? That I don't was know. Days of Future Past. Now, was, now what we're at is going to be like. Well, the I mean, I'd imagine that they're it's Age of Apocalypse is what they're doing, hmm. and I'd imagine that possibly then because they're introducing Jean Grey, yeah. that then it's going to be the Dark Phoenix well, saga. They're, well, they're gonna. Fuck up Apocalypse, man. It's like, just CG him. Oh. Don't have a dude playing him. Oh my god, no. It's have you seen how bad the costumes are? It's like fucking watching Power Rangers. Oh no, I... Like, I, that's I, the level of how bad I, he looks in all the pictures. Oh, I've seen some pictures of Apocalypse, and it's like, no, just CG the motherfucker. You know, like Guardians of the Galaxy, when they, they pretty much CG'd Thanos? Like, wow, that's fucking Thanos. <laughs> Not like, oh, dude. Oh, that, that looks like some dude looking like a pile of purple shit <laughs> was chewed it, up bubble gum you know <laughs> was, no yeah actually someone uh they compared him to one of the bad guys in power rangers yeah where yeah. he was just <laughs> purple and he has a weird thing on his head and he's rah, rah. of course granted they did get uh, olivia olivia munn yeah as, yeah uh, Psylocke. Psylocke. Oh, well, that's yeah. right. They they did get the mun. They had to. I think didn't they had to like powder her up or grease her up to get her into her costume? 
Probably. probably. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, hell, no, hell, fuck it. They just painted it on. Hell, <laughs> hell of a job. Yeah. <laughs> How do you sign up? I'm union. I have to do that. I have to help her with that. The only thing is, like, like these these superhero movies, they they'll sit there and choose a, a supervillain that's way too big for a single movie. Uh, you know, like Galactus. You know, in uh. Uh, Fantastic Four. It's like, th- and it wasn't even a really Galactus movie. Yeah, it was so they didn't. Retarded. They didn't actually tackle Galactus. No, they, that was not Galactus. No, they got the Silver Surfer right because that actually looked pretty tight. But that was not Galactus. No, no. I, like I don't give a shit what they called it, but that's yeah. not Galactus. You know, uh, uh, what, what was another one? Oh, uh, Ra's al Ghul. When they did in Batman, yeah. too big of a character. Too big of a character. There's too much that goes on with Rachel Ghoul to be able to put him in one single movie. And then they kill him off afterwards. Or well, did they? Well, yeah. The, he is Rachel Ghoul. Well, it's the Lazarus well, effect. Well, no, shit, the but, Lazarus hmm. effect in the, in the, the Lazarus really, pit. The Lazarus pit. The pit. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the, in the comic book, Amateurs. yes. Amateurs. Yeah. I mean, Shut they, tr- up, they try to tie it all together in all three because, you know, at the end, you know, the League of Shadows, you know, that's who Talia and Bane were a part of. They were outcasts, but they were trying to re... But mm. you know, but did, still, he's too big of a character. Yeah. There's just too much going on with that character. Like, like when they did it, uh, when they had him in the uh, Batman the Animated Series. Of course, you can do more because it's, it's a show show. But the only thing is, it's several episodes working on him, and then he appears later on to his daughter and everything. It, it, it's it, it's just. Like, like I said, he's just a huge fucking character. Well, but I mean, part of it comes down to, you know, you think about Batman, Batman mm-hmm. Begins. That was a gamble. Bringing mm-hmm. back Batman, how's it going to be? Is this going to end up being, you know, a Michael Keaton quality, or are we looking more like a George Clooney, Val Kilmer quality? <laughs> oh. <know>? Armor nipples. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It's like, come so, on. So, you know, like, like, what I hate is they kill all the bad guys. They can't. There's no possibility of them coming back. It's like, come on, man. They never die. Well, except for Rachel Gould, but he always comes back. <laughs> <laughs> and they could have. They could have gone to a story arc where they could have brought him back. But mm. at the same time, the, that whole aspect of, I mean, Rache being an exception because there's the whole Lazarus pit. Mm-hmm. But the whole like killing in uh, super, like in comics, is ruined. Mm-hmm. Like Superman ruined death. In comic books. Yes. Because now there is no character that dies Mm -hmm. that stays dead unless it's like Marvel's Ultimate Universe. Like Mm -hmm. their Ultimate Universe, they're like, if you're dead in this universe, you're fucking dead. We're not bringing you back. It's done. It's finito. Well, yeah, because like in – I used to collect the the Marvel cards in in the 90s. I still have them. Uh, Unfortunately, I never was able to complete the set. But, I mean, you had like the dead characters and stuff. I mean – you know, they, I guess they were more minor characters. Like, uh, was it like Warlock, um, Uncle Ben? Uh, <laughs> what, what was that one? Uh, he looked like Picasso, <laughs> like Picasso painted him. I can't fucking remember. Uh, it was a mimic. Was it mimic? No, no, no. It was a mimic. But there were several because the card. It was like the deceased collection part of that. You know. But I mean, the thing is, is that you take like major characters. Obviously, oh no, Super- mimic did. Superman die. died, right? Yeah. Uh, Superman died. Captain America has died. Mm-hmm. Uh, Didn't Wolverine die? Well, technically, they just did a storyline. I have not gotten to read the the comic book, but they they did a like Wolverine dies thing. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, is that it really depends because the normal continuity, what we know is like all the superhero stories, mm-hmm. is Universe Six One Six. So Universe Six One Six is basically like when you think about like. Like, all the stories about Iron Man and Spider-Man and all mm-hmm. that, that's all Universe 616. Mm-hmm. And then you have all these other universes, like the Ultimate Universe, which yeah. I don't know the number. But oh, yeah, yeah. Like, that, you know, universe is a completely different stories, you know, same type of characters, but they're completely... But in it's 616... Been, it's been able to play with them in different, you know, facets kind of stuff, yeah. So I don't know, for example, in the one that Wolverine actually dies, I don't know if that was actually in a 616 universe, or mm-hmm. if they wrote, you know, they wrote the story in a different universe... Or then it doesn't really matter that he died because it's right. he's still alive in the main universe. Well, I remember there was that one. To, uh, I I I, I kind of looked over a, a bit of it. It was uh, basically to where I guess there was like some sort of zombie virus on Earth, and then people that were getting infected, they were becoming zombies. And then uh, uh, I remember I remember specifically like Wolverine. <laughs> I guess uh, I think he purposely infected himself or something like that, be able to take somebody down or something. 
you know, but the, the only thing is, is eventually the whole world is just zombie world kind of yeah, stuff. And that's which, the, the, which was Mar- in, the Marvel zombies yeah. series. And then that's mm-hmm. another mm-hmm. universe all in of itself, yeah. you know, like. <laughs> so, but, but you the, know, but, but it's also, you know, the, you know, debating some of those versus, you know, what would be considered canon, you know. Well, canon would be 616. Right. But then even canon has changed because in universe 616, they rewrite shit all the time. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it, it, it can just be a hot mess because because I, I mean, D.C., they did the one with Superman to where, you know, what if he instead of landing in America, you know, he actually crash landed in, in Russia. Oh, the Red Sun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, but I, I remember uh, mm-hmm. I was reading or watching something and it was talking about like Superman back in the 40s during World War Two. And it was kind of one of those things that, uh, you know, they debated on. Uh, having Superman just come in and kill Hitler and just ending the war, you know, instantly. But they decided not to do that because that was going to basically make the the common soldier as being, you know, uh, useless, you know. And that that would have basically demoralized the troops because they were sending comics over like crazy, you know, for everybody to watch. So, yeah. you know, it's kind of one of those things that, you know, even though they included him during World War Two, but, you know, he can't be super super all powerful kind of stuff he can't solve every problem he can't be everywhere at once kind of stuff actually not not to think about it like it's kind of the reasons like the allies were able to, you know the, it was possible for them to actually kill hitler all r- once uh well not once they had a plan to actually kill hitler but since hitler was such a meddler he actually ruined a lot of the nazis plans mm-hmm. he actually he the, because the nazis had a lot of good plans, and Hitler would go to no, 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 no. We're gonna do it like this, and mm-hmm. just fuck everything up. So they they actually decided to keep him alive because uh, if they did kill him, someone would step up in his place and Probably actually be more effective. Be more effective. Exactly. Oh, Normandy, he fucked Normandy. He yeah. totally fucked Normandy. And not to mention the whole occult, the division of the cult, and not yeah. to mention all the crazy like weapons he was trying to develop. Yeah, the, all the uh, crazy weapons he was going to develop, like the underwater tank. Mm-hmm. And I think he developed uh, a bomber that – it was supposed to be a, a, a jet fighter, and it was going to be the fastest jet fighter there was. Mm-hmm. And it was going to rule the sky. And Hitler comes like, no, no, let's turn into a bomber. And he fucks the airplane yeah. up, and basically we almost lost the air war, but it's just yeah. – Hitler was a, just a meddler. Oh, oh yeah. the Sturmgewehr? He was, he was going to shit can the Sturmgewehr. But uh, I think it was the, the admiral uh, or uh, general – Decided to push it through anyways, and then, you know, after he saw it in action, he's like, oh, this thing's awesome kind yeah. of shit. Yeah, so honestly, it's probably a good thing they didn't kill Hitler. Yeah. You know, if Superman did kill Hitler, yeah. honestly, uh, that would actually prolong the war. So yeah. maybe it's a good thing he didn't do that. But so. the thing is, like, Captain America was introduced, you know, during World War Two, and he's not the <clears throat> end-all, be-all. You know, he would go in there and help help troops, you know, help pull them out of shit. But instead of basically fighting Hitler, he was fighting the Red Skull, which is which was a subset, you know, a subsection or faction, I guess you could say. But he does fight Hitler because there's like the second comic that he was in, he's punching Hitler in the face. Well, but he doesn't he doesn't kill him and basically in the war, you know, in I guess you could say the traditional sense is if you know, you know, Superman came in and just you know laser beamed his head off or something, <laughs> you know, or you know, or just took him and threw him in jail, like ha ha, you're going in you know jail, you know. Kind of stuff, you know, but you know, it's you know, I, I I guess you could say Captain America was a little more a little more relatable, yeah. but at the same time, the whole super soldier thing—that's what the Germans were trying to do. They were trying to you know trying to develop super soldiers, you know, through drugs and amphetamines and stuff like that. You know, henceforth the SS was just they always got to use amphetamines. <laughs> always. Oh, dude, fucking dude, man, they had fucking Hitler so fucking hopped up, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's actually one of the reasons I actually kind of blame him for meddling in so much stuff. Because at the end, at the end of the war, they just had him on a bunch of stuff. And well, it's that crazy doctor, man. Yeah, that crazy doctor was just yeah. putting him on a bunch of crazy stuff, mm-hmm. and he, you know, his, his vitamins. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I, I just thought it was interesting in, in especially wartime eras, like inter- having superheroes interact in real wartime eras, you know, because, I mean, you really don't want to belittle the, the common soldier because he's the one out there fucking slogging it out, fighting for every every centimeter of battlefield kind of stuff. Well, I mean, they touch on it on The Watchmen, you know, like, mm-hmm. what, what would it be, like, if we actually fought wars and we had superheroes, mm-hmm. you know, when you had, like, you know... Uh, Dr. Manhattan just coming in and... 
Just the big blue penis yeah. smashing, you know, like <laughs> just, just vaporizing, whole, you know, vaporizing whole armies. Then yeah, you'd you'd win every engagement because yeah. you'd have like the you know you'd use them as a weapon. And but it still <clears> didn't <throat> even make America like it didn't say, make the world safe. Like even well, yeah. having him as like the well, well, the thing is it 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 did because like in the comic book, you know, the different from the movie. Because of Dr. Manhattan, he was making the world better. It's just sort of like there was clean energy because it's like, oh, we need, you know, like something like, oh, you, we need like a, to make a, we don't want to use nuclear power. So what, what, you know, since he had the power to create new atoms, he was like creating like, oh, here's this clean energy source. Yes, but do you remember how that how that all plan, planned out at the end? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, well, but that's just where it. he basically stages with uh, Vedit. The Spoilers. whole, like, yeah, like the fucking <laughs> nuclear explosion that kills, like, millions of people so that the world will stop fighting because that's how they ended up having to, like, get everybody to kumbaya. Yeah, but that's yeah. just it. It's like his intentions were pure, but they were used. Yeah, but, but, but not but by I'm him. Saying but, that, but I'm like, saying, but was, that, that, Man, the, was yeah? that Dr. Manhattan that planned that or was it well, Osmandius? Yeah, no, Osmandius went to him with the plan and was like, yes, we're going to do this together because he knew what was going to happen. Like, he never stopped it. No, well, oh, I, I only saw the movie and, you know... Yeah, it, and, and it's, been a long, it's been a long time since I read the comic. Which I think that would have been kind of the, the... They probably decided not to go that route with the movie because it probably would have... They No, they did. Pee-pee. Because, it, I mean, remember, well, it, remember well, at it, the it, end it, where the Rorschach end. is like, I am going to tell everybody yeah. about this shit. And Dr. Manhattan's like, Boom. Well, but but mm. that's just it. But, but at that point, it was too late. You know, in the movie, they made it too late that he's it, like, no. It, he could, uh, Doctor Manhattan at any time could have stopped it from happening. No, I thought he could. No, no, because he was. Uh, 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 what's his face was for when he was clouding his judgment through uh, uh, the, the uh, tachyon his, field. It, yeah, or something his like tachyon that. field, and then he drove him from Earth by basically using mental tactics against, against him. But he basically came causing back. him to lose his humanity. Yeah, but he came back and he could he could have and he. And he still doesn't. You know, that's no. but even having him, but that's the thing. But even having him as like, like kind of the a policeman DD. of the world yeah. wasn't enough. Yeah, mm. too bad HBO can't turn that to a miniseries. That'd be an awesome miniseries. Mm. Nah, they already fucked it up with the, with the. It, it's a very hard story to tell. Well, and, no, but that's the thing about it. Like, imagine in a long series. Like, yeah, like because there's one thing putting shoving in a whole comic graphic novel into one two hour movie compared to mm. making it into each. Novel itself to be one. Have episode. Netflix do it, not HBO. No, oh, well, yeah. Well, Netflix, 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 Netflix would do it, it better. Yeah. But I mean, like you know, when the uh, Rorschach was killed, it's like, no, that poor guy, man, he's been tortured his whole life, and they just get. That's it, you know. Thanks but, a lot, but that's just it. That was the only way to shut him up is to kill him. But, yeah. but he left his seed out there, you know how they leave it at the end. But uh, it's it, it just kind of sucked when it, when they kill him. It, it, a little bit of me died with him, you know. But, you know, but even when they were in the bar with, like, the gangsters and they, they just showed, you know, Dr. Manhattan just, you know, just, you know, just, judge and jury and then executor. Yeah. Not even executor. It's just meat maker. Yeah. <laughs> so did actually, uh, did any of y'all actually finish watching uh, the one with Christian Ritter? Jessica Jones. Yes. Did actually, because I think I got to the last two episodes and then I kind of stopped watching. I, I caught it with you so far. And yeah. It was getting kind of, it was getting frustrating. So James James has a good explanation about that series as to like the style of the story and everything. Yeah, well, I mean, I know a lot of people complained about it in, in that it's like oh, it's so slow and it's not like Daredevil, which you know Daredevil is awesome. I said, well, it's because it, it it's being her being a superhero is secondary to her being a detective, and it's a very film. It's a very noir style of storytelling. It is. It you is. Know, she's broken. It, if you look at it, and, and, and like. She's a real person. Yeah, she's broken. She, she, everyone, all her friends are like, "Oh, come on, you're so much better than this." And she's like, "No, you know, you know." She's a good detective. She has a talent for it, but she's, you know, she, she was so screwed up because of like because of uh, Kilgrave. Yeah, she doesn't believe in herself, and that's why she drinks. And if you look at like all the all noir detectives, aren't they just mm. like that? The Philip Marlowe's. Yeah. They just they they sit in their office and it's dark and they got their mm-hmm. they're contemplating how things got so fucked up while they're drinking their scotch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought it was interesting uh, the part where her best friend since she she speaks on a public forum. You know, when she started talking shit about Kilgrave, it's like, man, you know about this guy. You know, you know his abilities to mess with minds and stuff, and you're going to openly talk shit about him. It's like you're setting yourself up, self up for failure. But that is a very realistic thing. You know, someone will go and do that. You know, uh, you know, someone will openly talk in a public forum about shit going on with their company, 
and they get shit canned. It's real shit, you know. Yeah. And speaking of which, we not talk about uh, David Tennant makes some awesome bad guy. Oh, he, he should does. play more bad guys. Oh, he does. Oh, I want him. He's he's uh, he plays like, crazy awesomely. Yeah, awesomely. Like I kind of want him to be more shitty. You know, I, I kind of <laughs> want to just be. Uh, he could have been even a better a better villain though. Like, and again, like using your superpower to yeah. like the most mundane thing, like. There's so much more that he could have done, much more of a life of luxury. <laughs> so you know it's like, kind of funny? Like we we're talking about uh, like uh, superheroes and ambition. Like a regular guy, I just get blowjobs every day. That's <laughs> that's basically what I do. Just, yeah. just, what would you do? Two chicks at once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I sit in my office. Well, I'm not even having to work for it. Just bitches. <sighs> bitches. Get on this. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, but you guys got the office space reference. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> yeah. That's 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 your average Kilgrave. We have actually like, yeah. Just I don't know. I get a pizza. I get a blowjob. Then I don't know. I gotta. I I, I guess I go on gambling online. I guess I don't know. Just <laughs> go to Vegas. Um, yeah. Just be a high roller in Vegas. Not even a high roller. Just have the casino just give you money. I mean, just you <laughs> could do whatever the fuck you want. If you yeah. had a superpower, you could do whatever yeah, the goddamn we're ta- you please. But you know? I'm talking about your, mm-hmm. your average no, just, nah, whatever. It, it's, you're just like, oh, I really don't want to do that because then I have to be responsible. Because, <laughs> let's face it, it you, you know, you never, you never think about it, but when you have all these supervillains and they have that organization, it's like, Guys, like, can't you just enjoy your your success? Yeah, just no. <laughs> it's, you know, it's sort of like you know you're the Lex Luthor. You know, you know or, maybe yeah. you know instead of maybe taking care of the world, you, let's take it like a month long vacation in Thailand. Well, you know, just, just come on, man. It, let's, it's let's, kind of like the, the old saying, you know, yeah. power corrupts absolute. Power cor- corrupts absolutely. You know, it's just you're gonna start making mistakes because you just get full of yourself. It's uh, kind of like uh, have you ever seen Lawrence Arabia? Lawrence yeah. of Arabia. You know, it's like he gets so fucking full of himself that he just wanders into, you know, the occupied Turkish village just like, "Ah," and he sticks out like a sore fucking thumb because he's a white guy with blue fucking eyes and blonde hair. And what happens? They capture him and they beat this shit out and fucking humiliate him. They break him. They fucking break him because he got full of himself, you know, but that's a very human, very human trait. And then to end up dying off a motorcycle accident. That's how he dies. It's a conspiracy. Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah, he's in England, and he's going up at, like, a hill, and there was kind of a blind spot, Jeep's coming down the other direction, and he swerves to misses, and he ends up crashing and dying. Uh, that's how the movie begins, and that's actually how he oh, dies. Oh, really? I, I always miss the beginning. <laughs> I always catch him before they, they end up shipping him out to the desert. I mean, it's like so. a six-hour movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no shit. yeah, they have an intermission, and it's like, God damn. <laughs> it's like Battle actually, of the Bulge. Intermission. I recently we oh, rewatched it like piss. maybe like a month and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, it came on uh, uh, TMC. Oh, they had it on Netflix. So, oh, did they? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, hmm, they yeah. Because I caught, I think I caught it. At the you got six of the hours to spend. Yeah, I think I watched Metropolis once. I had to like watch at least half of it and then go to bed. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't watch the whole. Like, <laughs> it was I a tried hard to one. watch it, and I just it's a like, hard when it drags. The original one or the weird Italian one they did in the eighties. No, no, no. The original, the original. nineteen twenties. Metropolis, I, I went. I went through and I was watching all these classic, like movies. Yeah, so. But um, I don't know. I, I some of those classic movies, they, they're just a hell of a lot better than the shit that they fucking mm-hmm. pump out today. Personally, but I think you know. I think that should be the the next one. I think we should go into like our top ten movies and the and their and their inevitable reboots. Oh, uh, like go, like Ghostbusters uh, just comes to mind. I'm glad that there are certain things that will never been never be. Like remade. Oh, so. oh! Don't say that. Don't say that. You know someone's planning it. Oh yeah, yeah. Some I, asshole because they don't have an original fucking idea. Oh, I don't see. I don't see a Quentin Tarantino movie being remade. I, th- ne- I think dude, that those you, are going to be you pretty never, safe. Like you in never thirty, forty movie. Yeah, like granted, uh, like they, no one's trying to remake True Romance. It's been like twenty years. Yeah. Or actually, no. Uh, remake American Psycho or something. I, you just never know. Pulp you Fiction was ninety four, so that's like twenty, actually twenty yeah. years. So yeah. maybe we have another ten years before someone tries some asshole tries to remake yeah. it. All right, so someone ne- try to next... redo Legend. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so oh, and, next and we, time they could have Tom Cruise playing as the devil guy. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that's right. Tim Curry's gone, man. Yeah. You know what so movie? Awesome. What movie they should have made was the spinoff from Tropic Fun Thunder, and have uh, Tom Cruise play that that douchey the, the the movie producer. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! How did they not make that into a movie? <laughs> like, who knew that Tom Cruise could actually be a comedic genius? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this is crazy. We gotta wrap this up. 
Thank you for listening to the Boner Bus special. Uh, my name's Bob. Did you say Boner Bus? Yes, Boner Bus. All right. That's the next project I'm working on. All right, ladies, on. this is the Boner Bus. Come on for a ride. <laughs> Anyways, with you, Nate, James, <laughs> Dave, like us on Facebook. Up, up, and away. <laughs> uh, what else oh, he's we? been waiting since the Facebook. beginning. He's been yeah. waiting an hour to say that. Twatter. So, with Twatter. Yeah. And, uh, well, I said, uh, appreciate you listening to the show. Uh, I said, wait till, I don't know next show we're gonna do i guess whatever movies Movies. make your make your top 10 list guys all right so that's impossible thank you very much have a good evening and good night (laughs) oh you know we didn't even go over swamp dick (laughs) oh no no we (laughs) didn't oh Oh, son of a bitch we're here on the porn yeah